Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hexahedron Plays, The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. My name is Kenneth, and today we are going to play a Eve run again, trying to get that chest completion finally. We'll try not to make the same mistakes we made last time. It is unfortunate when you get to the chest only to die on the way to Blue Baby. Looks like we're already off to a slightly rocky start. I am going to avoid razor blading for a little bit until we at least see our item room. Because it can be a little dangerous to run around with just one heart. Especially if you're a bit rusty like me. Kinda need those extra <laughs> two hits. So that you don't need to immediately restart on a separate seed. But as usual, I will just play here until we get a good run started. Haven't really had to do that yet, luckily in the past four episodes, but um, I'm, I'm ready for it to happen sooner than later. We get, is this going to be wait what again? I kind of hope it is, because we got a lot of value out of it last time, and it is. So, pretty much just going to use that always. Tempted to use it on all these rocks in the first floor, but want to take too long dilly-dallying. Should probably use it on those pots, but um, I will just wait to see if anything more important comes up. Like if we actually need the money this floor or anything. We did get a quarter in our recent run. I don't know if it was yesterday's or the day before's. But um, it would be nice to get it again, I guess. That is a reason to go for all the pots we see. I don't have the burning basement. This is the cellar. Just had to double check with that last room. All enemies on fire and such. These spiders should be just fine to get rid of. We will try and get some kind of soul heart going for next floor. If we can. So that we can get our devil deals in order. I will probably take a hit before we leave this floor if we somehow don't get hit until then. Being Horror of Babylon. Not sure what Tonsil does. I did once again forget to turn on the item info mod again. I'll try and remember between this episode, I suppose. Guys, just stay back for now until my wait what charges. Or I can just run into a rock. Can't quite remember if there was a red heart on the floor. I will go back and check. Since I'd rather not immediately die to whatever our boss is. Or we'll just run into a room we haven't seen yet. That also works. There's a soul heart, so I guess we can just fight the boss now. Bombs are key. Not ideal, usually you want more keys than bombs early on. Especially now that we have wait what, but um... Make it work. Wait what should absolutely destroy Pin, I think. Well, it did an alright job. I don't know if half HP is what I'd call absolutely destroying. Neither is uh, just running into Pin at the end there. Well, let's consider, continue running around. Who knows what else this floor could have for us. Tempted to go back to Razor Blade and... Try and get back in Horror Babylon. I think if equality is what I think it is, and that's all equal consumables, it gives us some kind of bonus. We could theoretically make that work, but um, since it's probably not going to work most of the time, we will just ignore it. Let's go get these pots, because why not? Spider. We'll have to go back up for that one. Nothing again. Skulls are a great opportunity though. Let's see what we get from them. A card of some variety. And that variety is the chariot. I do believe we still take damage on these spikes with the chariot. So no need to use it here. 
nothing from that second set of skulls. Another room we haven't fought. Make that guy go away. Just to be sure we have no problems. Red Paths, that's probably better than the Tonsil item, as far as I know. I don't actually know what the Tonsil item does, but, um... I do know what Red Patch does, and that is occasional damage, I think. Probably from getting hit, maybe, or something like that? I don't think it's the one that we gain damage from when we kill enemies, because I think that's... Samson's... Lock of Hair? Something, <laughs> something along those lines? Let's just go on to the next floor, I think we got most of our... Most of our pots. I'm pretty sure we can get secret rooms with. Wait, what? I don't know if you have to like space it right. Did get it there? It was worth it. Took on to cellar two. Five minutes in here. Feed is cellar two. Have our item room. Right off the bat, which I do like seeing. Rather than it having been across the floor from the boss like it has been in some recent floors. Our bomb. And Dry Baby. Dry Baby's pretty good. Just kind of hide behind him and let him soak up bullets and Necronomicon things. Tempted to just ch chariot into envy. Clear this room, but um, unnecessary. Did find a secret room, unexpectedly. Definitely wasn't the like the goal of playing. Wait, what? There. Envy just slowly <laughs> getting defeated. Will eventually die to our 2.6 damage. He does start with lower than base damage when you don't have Horror of Babylon. Since she does have, I believe, a lower than one multiplier to damage. I'll kind of just ran away when we wait what did there. Shoot the maybe? I don't think we'd take it now that I think about it. Keep forgetting wait what is an active item. Which I shouldn't, since I'm always having to press the active item button, obviously. I don't think we're going to compost anything. Wait, but too good to pass up. Like, makes these little nest things easy to deal with. Don't even have to go around. Temperance. We'll just blow that up. Some more hearts. Would like a damage up this floor. So hopefully we'll finally get a good set of devil rooms. <laughs> Can't that was uh, pretty silly. Got another couple of pots. I don't know if we could have hit both at the same time. We'll walk back for that one. I just wait for wait what on this guy. Gonna have to weave through some spiders, so it looks like. Make that happen a couple times. Since we can't even one shot spiders. With two hits and still isn't dead. From wait, what? You need to chill, Mr. Longlegs, dude. Darn it. Is probably why it might have been worth keeping Razor Blade for a little bit. But alas. We will probably still survive, I guess. Just don't want to take two more hits, really. Good place to wait, what? Once again? If you get a secret room. And by secret room, I mean black market. Nope. So, just run in and probably chariot. Make sure we get this devil deal. Can still use, wait what it looks like while in chariot. So that was nice. 
We're not going to take these pills until after the Devil Deal. And we definitely want that. There's a damage up, like we asked, and a bunch of HP. Did miss that fire, but I don't think it matters too much. Nor do I really see a reason to go back in there for it. So, looking good in HP now. Funny how quickly things turn around in Isaac sometimes. You just need to kind of survive to get to that point, I guess. I think we already checked there for a second secret room. What are we missing? A shop? We'll do these extra rooms to try and get some keys, even if not for the shop this floor, but um, a later floor. We look kind of nifty now with this robe over our face. No, I found pills has made us a little ugly as well. We're probably just hiding our face now in this little uh, robe thing because of that. Our own little head cannon for this run, I guess. Ace of Diamonds. I guess if you could just never unlock these Ace of Cards, it'd be kind of okay. Because they are kind of useless 90% of the time. Diamonds, probably one of the better ones I was going to say, but I guess you'd rather have keys to money, usually. Did run straight into that. Keep a cack shot. Trying to get in for wait what? Can't go in there. Let's um get these last two pots. This too far. Might be too far. If we miss it, we'll just leave, I guess. Yeah, definitely was too far. Even if it was money, look, not like we can spend it on the shop. This floor. Haven't really had a good opportunity to make dry baby work. We'll try to make that happen. Just Wrath. Not really much we want from him, so we just drop regular bombs, I guess. Not that we really need any more on top of what we already have, since we're not using them. Because of wait what? Yep, just two more bombs. That could have been scary. Probably shouldn't have wait whited bomb flies. Get away from me, bat. That was Dry Baby doing his work there. Which luckily didn't get us hurt or anything. Just uh, stay calm and think through this room, I guess. And we did just fine. One left. And we're good. We did it. He no longer hurt us. Nickel. And another one, please. Thank you. There is our item room that we can't enter just yet. This is actually a pretty good time to... Try, baby, I think. Yep. You might have taken some damage. Had, uh, we stood wrong there, but did it just fine. It did kill all the enemies for us. Bad trip. <laughs> just gonna have to deal with whatever comes our way this, this uh, room. Oh my god. Tried our best. Golden bombs, huh? Definitely would have rather had a golden key. There's our key. I think we'll just go for our item room. Even though a shop could be worth it. 360 degree tiers, huh? Guess I have to use my right stick. I usually play with uh, the button face buttons, which we still can use, but it is a tears up, so we'll give it a try. The only other time I really use a stick is for, like, um, 
the Doctor Fetus. That is the the, the missiles. Versus just the bomb item. Let's go fight our boss. I guess firing diagonally for a boss like this is pretty good. And so is Dry Baby. Can we just stand behind him and never get hit? Dry Baby clearing the ads. I don't know how many times Dry Baby has to be hit, or if it's just like a chance. I would prefer if Stain stop shooting tears at us, though, even if we can just stand behind Dry Baby. Did manage to get hit at the end there. Which did cost us our Devil Deal, looked like, the very last second. The unfortunate. We did it. We got hit there and sin hearted. Guess we just didn't get it and the game zeroed out our Devil Deal chances. They are gaining damage when we get hit for some reason. Unless I'm reading that wrong somewhere. We could just be at a very low HP. Oh, it's Red Patch, that's right. I guess that's it. I guess Red Patch is per room, which is pretty bad. We got hit by a fire there. While I wasn't paying attention. Definitely not the right move. We will check out our shop, though. Even if it does risk us losing some more HP. Accidentally backed out of the room there. No tears for Dry Baby to make this go faster, fortunately. Just clear this horde of flies and then go for that last Mulligan dude. There he goes. Not just these leeches. Let's see, what do I want from the shop? Really be okay with just about anything. Mom's key sounds good. Don't think we need the battery charge 9 volt with them. Um... Wait, what? We could theoretically get it just by wait, wetting the donation machine a few times. But don't need to. So now we will go out of our way to open any chests we see. Get a pill, another telepills, we'll not take that, I'd rather keep our Emperor. Definitely not making boss rush this run either, it seems. And we'll just leave. Per throw again. Wouldn't like to take per throw. Unfortunately, I don't think there are any items we want to reroll. Overtaking Emperor with us. I'd much rather skip all the nonsense in the chest if we don't get any kind of good items once again until then. Which I wouldn't necessarily say we've gotten anything that great just yet. Alright, exactly two hearts. Still could be a two run episode, so. Just have to wait and see how we do against these guys. Probably should have waited for Are You Wizard to go away. Any second now, we'll be able to shoot normally. There we are. Oh god, ran right into that. Don't kill us, Troll Bomb. We have so much to live for. We still have so much to live for. Tempted to just use Emperor now. And then, uh... Man mode that fight. Hoping to get a health up or something. I'm fairly certain we can get these mushrooms 
without hurting ourselves as long as we walk back immediately. No magic mush. I'll wait for charge if we're going to the next room. No, I am tempted to get these guys. I'll just use a bomb. Get another pill. I found pills again. Like our fifth time. Three books, huh? We might actually have to take Satanic Bible here. As much as I've liked using Wait What so far. We get Bookworm as well, of course. Just a casual brush with death in an Isaac run. Until you survive long enough to find the thing that keeps you alive. Probably could wait what this, but once again, just gonna use a bomb out of laziness. Yeah, who needs more than three black hearts to live? So, we will continue onwards. And just technically dry baby this room. Come on, dry baby. Not quite close enough. Whatever, we'll just shoot ourselves. It is a little unfortunate when Dry Baby is the first overly yet, because it is harder to stand behind him. At times. Something's wrong. Bad trip. Is that a full health now? I think we actually need to get rid of our black hearts to make that a full health. I don't know if its name changes when that happens. We'll try not to pick up that red heart if we can. I always kind of psych myself out on those bomb flies. Really should just walk the opposite way of where they're going. But for some reason I end up following them slightly. So this champion version of him shoots diagonally, so we're fine to just stand in front. Looks like we have Curse of the Maze too. Kinda lucky it didn't trigger any sooner. Still think we want Emperor over Bad Trip though. That's what it comes down to. And a secret room. I don't think it is. Get small rock. So our damage has definitely made a recovery. As long as we keep Horror Babylon anyway. Let's see what our item room also gives us. I'd like to see some more battery charges as well. A shop, definitely good value right now. Ten bombs. Alright can make it work. We have mom's key as I've said, so we'll definitely go for all these chests. And the chance for magic mush here as, as well is nice. A liberty cap instead, which we might actually take. Well, think about it. Another damage up. The reason I want to take liberty cap really is for potential mapping. Let's take it. I'd rather know where I'm going than occasionally get a damage up. Another chest. Luckily, that bomb did move the red heart out of the way, otherwise I was going to leave that penny. Where are we? Catacombs 2? That's a boss item. I think we take it. More damage. And two, two soul hearts. Can't complain about any of that. I think we'll buy this as well. Oh, we've recovered for now. Well, I should check where the boss is before we continue wandering around. Could be in the other direction still. Oh, could have done that better. Let's see, let's walk back and forth until we see the boss. I guess, uh, Curse of the Maze doesn't make that as easy, but luckily the boss was just here anyway. 
Husk should be destroyed, since it, any amount of damage on him really is enough to kill him. Even if it's just like a short breeze. We skip this. HP up. Let's see if we have any kind of arcade on us for. Then we might go back for that to trade our HP. It is just a double key room. So hopefully let's continue on without taking this HP up. We have 100% chance of a deal. I think since we are subsisting on non-red hearts, we will be fine to not just immediately Emperor to keep that in check. Which I did consider. Yeah, let's open these. I don't want those red hearts though. can afford to take up half a red heart, but I'd rather not risk it. I'd rather have the option I just accidentally pick up a half a red heart and not have to worry about going to a one and a half hearts. Another battery. Almost getting up to full HP now. As long as our devil deal here is good, I think we should have no problem eating the chest, though I'm pretty sure I've said that the last time we lost on the chest. Free to open this. Probably we'll spend a bomb there rather than a key. Need to make sure we don't make any wrong dodges against these guys has happened multiple times. Oh god, didn't uh, didn't leave. That is a downside of using a controller sometimes, you just angle it slightly in the wrong direction and get caught in a corner. But shouldn't happen as long as you're properly warmed up warmed up. That could be a secret room. Ponies could trigger this guy. You gonna shoot? Does not want to shoot at us any longer. There we go. Someone left. A champion. Who spawned two more? And handled. Luckily, we can afford to take bad damage like we've been taking. We should uh, check where things are with the Liberty Cap. I keep forgetting that's a thing. Even though that was the whole point of picking it up. One day it'll trigger. Maybe. No, not gonna. Alright, that's good enough for now. We'll wait till it triggers on another random room, I guess. Not a fan of this. Oh, took a damage there. I guess we should have um, had one go to the right or something. That's probably the proper way of doing that room. This is striking me as a boss pass. Pass. So I imagine we're going to have to backtrack again. Go on our item room at least. Totally dodge dry baby there. I'm going to call him dry skeleton. He is indeed a skeleton, it looks like. It's not entirely incorrect. Oh god, what did I just do there? Oh, we're fine. This does actually act as a closed circuit, so I guess we're skipping the shop, but otherwise. Free to check our item room. Not often you see a room, a floor generated like this. Didn't see that guy alive.
Let's see. Doing fine. Fortunately, Dry Baby did nothing there. Pop up. Should drop a battery for us. Or not. Guess it's only a chance. We do get Rune back again. This is almost like our last couple runs just combined. Which are is good because those things led to success. So happy to have them again. We are fine to bomb a couple times here, I think. I do like getting rid of one of these guys as quickly as possible. It does not seem like we were able to do that, but we at least uh, got them both down relatively in quick succession. There's our Devil Deal. Mom's heals. Apparently became Mom. Mom transformation. Get a little dagger behind us. That we're almost certainly never going to make use of. I don't think we're going to take Head of Krampus over the life right now. Still kind of subsisting off Satanic Bible, which I am fine with doing. At last, Liberty Cap effect seemed really good. Hopefully we get that often. Let's see here. A couple of ghost guys. No problem. They should be actually pretty good targets for Dry Baby. Once again, getting lots of mapping from our rune bag. Guess we can get rid of Liberty Cap in that case then. Even though Liberty Cap in theory should be more um, manageable. Reliable? With those, I guess. Just doesn't seem to want to proc sometimes. Definitely didn't do that right. If my claim to fame is just healing through all the, the dumb damage I take, I guess I'm okay with that. As it does seem to be the case with uh, the past couple runs. But nothing wrong with playing defensively. Can technically knife these guys. Yep, worked fine on that champion. I'm at us again, then come us again. Curse dice, don't think I want that. I'll use our Emperor. I think we need the Emperor. Random tier effects. Probably a bit sketchy at times, but we'll take it. We'll see what we can make happen with it. Even if some of the tier effects can be quite bad. As long as we're playing defensively, we should be able to make up for any damage we take with them. Did skip a, a mini boss again. Not really sure any mini boss in particular can give us something that really help us out at this point. Let's see what this card is. Get a drill free card. Open sesame. Let's just unlock all the doors somewhere. I would probably open like boss rush maybe or something right now. But uh, we don't need that. We could also open. I'm just guessing since I, I haven't really used it often. But maybe it opens like uh. Devil deals and such. I'd much rather save this Emperor card though. So I'm just gonna immediately fight Mom. And apparently take some damage to her. She shouldn't do contact damage when her foot is down, but looks like we did freeze her right before her foot went down. Mere moments ago. So this is chest. So Polaroid has been taken. Should give us some um, invulnerability. We did skip over the secret rooms on that floor. My bad. If it was like purity or something, then feel free to let me know. But uh, otherwise, not too concerned. I think there are definitely a lot more tier effects now than there were last time. I've had fruit cake. We're going to avoid taking that Faith Heart, even though it just tried to attack us, thanks to an explosion. Now it gives again. I guess that is worth taking for a little while. 
No need to open that guy. That being said, I guess we can now use the Mimic. With Mom's Key, that shouldn't be too bad. I was going to save for the boss's floor, but... Oh, we did pick up a half heart, which is unfortunate. But, um, we still have Horror Babylon since Eve can survive with one. Not sure what happened there. I think one of our random tier effects exploded in our face. Which is why I was kind of hesitant to pick this up. Especially now that we take full hearts of damage. I guess I should just never shoot when there's no enemies. Keep that to a minimum. Need tinted rocks. I wonder if luck affects how often fruitcake changes your tears or anything like that. Or some of the rare effects show up. I already guess probably not. It's probably just uh every time it has a random effect or something. And just most of those are pretty normal. That is one good chest. Oh, only one way to go now. Perfectly handled. We have a 67% chance of a devil deal this floor. Or now it's 100. That also works. I guess we want to save as many keys now, though, for uh, the chest. I'd like eight just in case we get Yera from our rune bag. Still maintaining HP equilibrium. Oh, there's our Yera. Do I want that over Emperor? I mean, I guess. We may as well fight one of these last floors legitimately sooner than later. This may as well be a Yera chest run. We should at least survive that long with our good old Satanic Bible. I've already seen Krampus, if I recall. So we can almost certainly trade away our final HP to keep poor Babylon going without worry. Hearts continue to try to trap us in a room though. Uh, almost messed that up. Haven't taken damage from food cake in a little while, so that's good. That was pretty sketchy though. Explosion is just mere inches from my face. Another Yara. Too bad we don't have the ability to hold two runes. Guess we can Yara a soul heart or something that we see now. If we ever need to. Or that Emperor card, for instance, but no need. We'll just wait for them to come back this direction. One left. He will cross, I think, now. Do I want to go back to that key? I guess we can. There's Dagaz. Just at full HP. Boss should be pretty imminent. Don't really have a reason to take damage, otherwise we could just, uh purposely do so and use our charge every once in a while. Pretty fly. I do like free orbitals, thank you for the pretty fly game. Right now if we use the book it does replace a soul heart with a sin heart, but I'd rather just keep it in the bank. Welp. I think we just pick up one of these guys rather than using our book. Just to not have to backtrack. Who do we have here? Pins? It is indeed pins. One of them is almost dead, for sure. Looking good. See what this is? A blank rune. Is there a reason to use this? Just 
per throw. And give us another blank rune. Oh, we'll just uh, ignore that, I think, for now. Looks like our tiers do occasionally destroy rocks. So we'd have to be careful about that on rooms with um, explosives and such. Even just those regular rocks that can shoot tears at us occasionally. Can be a bit sketchy. No reason to backtrack for the other soul heart, it seems. And here's our boss. This is... Eudora 1 still. Definitely going quite slow this run. He should split or something pretty soon. That's right, I don't think that's this enemy. When I think about it, flight. We could be okay to actually take that at full health here, but I don't think we will. Dark Bomb. I guess that answers our question. Let's take flight. Now that we have another way to get soul hearts. And a bit of a speed up. Don't mind that. Once again, we should get our final devil deal on this floor. Ah, uh, gauze. Use it immediately, I guess. You know, there was no real reason to. Let's just use our horse. Don't need to play any of this stuff. Totally whiffed the bomb. Apparently he didn't blow up. Spider. But he did give us a soul heart after that, so thank you, I guess. Did we get a small rock this one? We did, it's on the bottom right. Still. So I guess no real reason to look for tinted rocks as much. Don't know if I want to pick up this black card right now. I guess I may as well, since we already have so many soul hearts laying around. Head of the Keeper, sure. I guess like Bum Friend or Bumbo would be pretty alright to get at this point. 64 cents in no shop and a chance to spawn pennies. Pretty much perfect circumstances for them. Not sure how these tiers affect fruitcake, if at all. Looks like we still get fruitcake tiers occasionally, so. Feels like I'm walking on sunshine. Blank rune. Onsu is pretty good. Yara. Let's just walk back slowly now. They'd apparently go the wrong way. Do I want pills? I don't think so. Let's not worry about uh, that. Shall I momentarily go back to pick up a soul heart? I definitely prefer to be a li little more aggressive in my average Isaac run than I really have shown in the past couple episodes, but I don't mind just having runs that subsist solely off art generation, I guess, and such. I do really like that first E run, I think it was, where we made Razor Blade work really well. Definitely didn't expect that to happen in a run. Hopefully we get another episode like that sooner than later. Soul Heart saves us the time going backwards. Uh, another Tinted Rock. I guess we're just hoping for golden chests each time we do that. For items, really. Another Dagaz. Still just gonna hold the arrow. Do have plenty of keys now for a Yara chest. 
Not gonna talk about that room. Pretend that didn't happen. Who are these guys? Hematomesis. Well, that's good for... Dark Realm, I guess, just to momentarily get back to full HP. Could take it. Um, it feels like I'm walking on sunshine into the hard fight, but I don't think that's necessary. That's just immediately hard, or uh, horse, I mean. And that did almost just straight up kill the heart. Which is what I like to see. Three red chests, not what I like to see, however. Especially when two of them only have spiders. Hello pills, then lemon party. Well, let's go to the, the cathedral. Right, we have the Polaroid. Do we need the chest? This penny. Isaac should be fine as long as we get to him. This room, pretty easy with flight. Battery charge, may as well pick that up now. I think we did actually see where our boss was there, but I wasn't paying attention. And did miss it. Did successfully fight those two gluttonies. Blink rune. Get companionship for Tano. Here, uh, another blank room. Oh, there's our map. So it looks like we're going the wrong way. As is usually the case. Not a fan of those angel fly leech things, so definitely just used our horse there to make that room trivial. These two Geminis, absolutely fine to kill though. Oh, I think we're definitely switching this now. One free hit a floor. I do believe that's how it works. And it's active immediately. So our next hit is free. These two Lokis should go down. Loki's pretty nice to fight when he spawns bomb flies on himself. Just immediately blow them up and does a ton of damage to him. We're at 99 cents. With an Algiz. Oh, we're definitely taking Algiz into the Isaac fight. Don't think we have the damage really to kill Isaac before it runs out. But we'll try our best, I guess. We have a dagger and I think about it. That might make it happen. Gonna be kind of finicky to set up though, since it follows behind us. Dark Bomb hasn't had to do any work for us for a little while, that's always good to know. Finally getting our dodges in order. Let's go to both secret rooms. Apparently, get a luck up too. Let's try for Magic Mush, to try and be some kind of icing on the cake of this run. Fortunately not though, another pretty fly, really good though, that's three three pretty flies now. Definitely looking good on tier dodging. Or blocking really more than dodging. More HP we can't use. So I do have to remember to go back for Yara before we move to the next floor. May forget. Like a 10% chance I give it. What is happening here? Oh, I guess the enemy got tinyed. In some way. Don't need that. Tempted to use our horse here, but I would like to use that on Isaac just to make sure we kill him with Algiz in time. This time I will be careful on what items we pick pick on the chest, I think. Just in case it ends up killing us.
So, absolutely ton of damage. This will just circle around him, really, to make our dagger do the most damage possible. Next time he spawns, should be his last. So now we go back for Yera before we forget. I mean, if anything, you're seeing lots of uh, decent tips on how to cheese some of these bosses. When you don't get the right tools necessarily. Nothing wrong with using Mom Transformation Plus. Um, Algiz killed Isaac. Going to full HP into the chest is pretty good though. The question is, do we wander around to try and get another Yara or do we just use these immediately? Definitely should have checked our pills first just in case he wanted to double them along with the chests. Team of Tamisus, we shall use. Some bombs, which we'll take. That's like a toxic aura, right? Don't know that I want Mom's knife. But we'll take it. Key beggar. No thanks, I think. Love toots, let's not take that. We'll try and get a reroll for the rest of this stuff. No invincibility with a knife, not bad. We might come back back to that for Blue Baby. And the boss is the other way, it seems. Bookworm doing work when we can get it on Mom's knife, though, it looks like. Fill that up for an item. She is probably not worth taking. Tech 2, I think. Probably just gonna hurt our knife damage, if anything. Awaz does nothing. Let's head this way. Oh, our damage is pretty great. Thanks to Mom's knife. Let's hope to get some more chest drops to see if we get anything else cool. Almost used my pony on this spider room, but I was like... I'm pretty sure we can handle it without using that. Another little horn. Do still have wooden cross, I think, too. For Kano. Are you a wizard? I wonder if that's any better with Mom's knife. Probably not. I'd imagine it probably gives you maybe two knives. Not gonna test it though. Some more luck. Should be good for chests. I'm just gonna leave that. Are you a wizard behind now? I don't think we're going to make use of Halitosis at all, in which case we probably should have just left it for reroll. This was not the way to the boss. Oh, game is making us work for this chest win, which is fine, seeing as we actually can handle it for once. Closing in on 50 minutes in run timer, definitely a longer run. Should probably bombs our key at some point, which is probably fine to be now. Then use whatever bombs we have left on anything we see fit. Like a stone chest or something. Three stains never pleasant to fight, even on even with mom's knife and a bunch of damage. Another item, shoop to whoop. Probably worth taking over flight at this point. We do lose a bit of speed. Our speed is quite high regardless. Let's see, another easy room. Like, I know that's one of the complaints of the Void, that some rooms are too easy. 
like a basement that late at times. But I mean, some rooms in the chests are exactly the same as you can see. So I don't really mind too much that aspect of the void. I guess the main complaint of the Void Office it was obviously Delirium. Which I've apparently had a good track record on video so far, being able to fight compared to normal rooms anyway. Probably died to stupider things more than Delirium so far. Not really meant to be shots fired at anyone though. Just general opinion. And there is our reroll for those first five items. If we want to walk back for it, which we will. The whole point of coming into the chest is seeing lots of items. Let's see what we get. Shoot the whoop, really not doing as much work as I would like, so I will probably trade it for a better spacer item should we get one. Fears upgrade, which is probably fine. Is this adrenaline or something? Panic tower. That does give us spun. This lets us change characters, which we want We want the chest completion as Eve, but it is tempting to try and uh, make like one of the harder characters work right now with them. We will skip it though. Just to finally get this Eve completion out of the way. Not sure who we'll play as next. Maybe I will give Lazarus a try. Or maybe Samson. Probably Lazarus over Samson though. I think I do prefer his mechanics slightly more. The whole respawning early part is kind of interesting. Let's just uh, shoot the loop these guys. And totally miss like half of it. Hope we still have it for blue baby fight. Did lose a heart, but I don't think that'll matter. Yep, let's go in. A little hard to time mom's knife here, but uh, should have be no problem regardless. Well, that is going to bring us to the end of this run, it looks like. Thanks for watching. Do consider giving the video a like or dislike so I can know where things stand. And see you next time, where we will probably play as Lazarus, as I just said.